bonjour! I am Mad About Animals Mags, your favorite animal welfare scientist slash miniatures enthusiast, and now restaurateur. People say that restaurants are one of the riskiest investments, but given my built-in customer base of my five rats, I just feel like La Ratatouille can't fail. I wanted to share with you guys the process of building uh, La Ratatouille for my rats. I got this shingle from Magic Key Creations on Etsy, but everything else I used was repurposed stuff I already owned. I don't want to pretend that this is a project where it's like you can do it with things laying around your house because the things I did it with that were laying around my house were frequently like actual miniatures. But I have done a lot of builds for my rats that were legitimately made out of upcycled things like old bottles of laundry detergent and cans of beans and toilet paper rolls and paper bags. So if that looks like fun to you, I can always do some tutorials on things like that. So I thought it would be fun to kind of tell you, uh, okay, Erwin, you're wild. You are absolutely wild. I just wanted to show you the process of building La Ratatouille and obviously show you opening night. The first thing I rescued from the going out slash recycling pile in my house was this little cubby slash key ring thing I used to have on my wall, which I pulled the key pegs out of and flipped upside down. These forks were given out to the audience at the amazing play Kate by Kate Burlamp, and I'm so glad I kept them. These burlap squares from a birthday party I had like six years ago fit perfectly, but I didn't like how far back they sat, so I created little cardboard platforms to bring them forward. I also thought it would be fun to use these drawers to switch out displays in the future. I wanted the overall restaurant aesthetic to be a combination of things that a rat may have stolen around a restaurant that are a little oversized for the rats, as well as cute little rat-sized miniatures that maybe a human ally of theirs either made or went out and bought for them. Combining these miniature pots with these sewing pins was kind of my peak miniatures plus objects they've been stealing from the restaurant aesthetic that I was trying to achieve here. The sticks that make up these shelves are actually applewood rat shoes, and these miniature plates and cups were from a miniature I've had for years that I disassembled for this, including the pastry display case, which was a cardboard box that I added cardboard shelves to and filled in clay pastries that I made. I played around here with what I wanted to do with the combinations of items around my house and miniatures I had made before, and ultimately decided on propping up the display case on these two spools of thread and add some baby blocks on top of it. This coaster was also in the going out pile, and I think it's so beyond perfect, but my favorite rescue from the going out pile was this old watch. I just loved the idea of tiny rats stealing a watch to use it as their restaurant's clock. The chef prepared some vegan Kite Hill butternut squash ravioli. It's me, I'm the chef. That was opening night at La Ratatouille. You may notice that Erwin wasn't invited. That's because it was ladies night. That's not true. I've only had Erwin for a week, but I love him so much. Uh, I would kill someone for him. Not you, I'm sure you're super cool, but like 
in a high concept way. Once he's out of quarantine, I will be very, very, very excited to take him to La Ratatouille. If, if you wanna see Erwin's first night, please like and subscribe to our channel. We make a lot of rap videos, a lot of animal welfare science and ethics video essays. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you at La Ratatouille soon. That's not true, it's only for tiny little rats. You <laughs> say hi to the camera, Erwin. I'm not gonna let you climb on it though, I'm sorry. Not today, Erwin. Not today.